This year, a Florida couple celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. But as CBS News correspondent Kelly Covilla reports, fate had a big hand in making this happen. In June of 1958, Herman and Roma Rosenblatt were married. They had met six months earlier on a blind date at New York's Coney Island. But this is no ordinary love story. It actually began 65 years ago in Nazi Germany. I went with my brothers to the right, my mother went to the left. We got separated from my mother and she was taken to Treblinka, to the guest chamber. Herman was sent to a slave labor camp called Schlieben, his mother always in his dreams. And in one, she promised to send him an angel. Life at Schlieben was unbearable, a diet of bread and water, his world defined by barbed wire and watchtowers, until... I saw a little girl behind a tree on the other side of the barbed wire. It was Roma, just eight years old, her Jewish family posing as Christians to hide from the Nazis. She took out an apple out of her jacket, she threw it over the fence. I grabbed the apple and I ran. Every day, Roma came to that tree with food for Herman. He called her his angel girl. We never spoke a word to each other, never. Never spoke a word to each other. Because if the guards would see me from the tower, I could have gotten shot, and she could have gotten shot. This unspoken relationship lasted seven months until one day, without warning, Herman was transferred by coal car to another camp. He said goodbye to his angel. That was it. I never saw it since then. After the concentration camps were liberated, Herman found his way to the United States. He found love and was engaged to be married three times, but never went through with any of them. He always felt something was missing. And then came that blind date. It was Roma. A coincidence that Herman believes is no accident. I said to myself, oh my God, my mother sent her back to me. And that was it. Yes. And I knew right then and there we're going to get married. She was tall and handsome. I'm still handsome. Yes, <laughs> you are, you are, you are. Six months after that blind date, 15 years after she first threw the apple, They were married. Every morning, every morning, for years, you, get the, you wake up, you look at each other, and you say, I love you, I love you, I love you. You kiss, and you say, now let's go for breakfast. I'm going to kiss him again. There you go. <laughs> Kelly Cobiella, CBS yes. News, Miami. Yes. Herman says the couple's story is being made into a movie, and he would like Dustin Hoffman to play him. Their story's already, already been made into a children's book. To read an excerpt, just go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.